a Geeks Tim Tibbets with MajorGeeks.com and say we're looking at C Cleaner Free. C Cleaner is a drive cleaner, but it also throws in a few other tools, including a registry cleaner startup manager. It is well known, it is safe, and it's been around a long time. It's basically a household name if you're using a computer, so you probably don't need any introduction. Let's take a quick look at a few things. When you start up, you'll be somewhere around here. You can decide if you want to change anything under Windows. For the most part, it does not do things that come into question. It's not going to remove your start menu shortcuts unless for some reason you wanted to, your desktop shortcuts. So as you can see, the old prefetch data, we could do a whole video and argue that one out. It's unchecked for a reason. You can wipe your free space as it goes. That means it can overwrite the data that you're deleting for security so it's unrecoverable and most of this stuff is pretty easy to use a couple of mouse overs might be handy in here to explain some of it but still it's it's not designed to be too technical applications that will detect your browser as you can see here and basically all you really need to do when you start the program up is you can analyze and see what's there or just run the cleaner this is my actual everyday machine that I'm running it on right now so I'll just kind of give it a basic run and show you how it works. You'll see it going through. You'll see this run by until it is, oh, Google Chrome is open. So you can tell it not to show the message again or click yes and your browser is closed so it can finish. I think I just ran it yesterday so it's not gonna find a real lot. It probably found three times that yesterday. I run it roughly every week or two. As you can see, here's all the stuff if you care that it removed and that's it you are done so at this point you could almost walk away now another thing you could consider i'd like to see uh the company get together with these guys the cc enhancer you can search for that on major geeks it is a program that you can put in there there's a tutorial video on that as well that will find all the other programs on your machine that c cleaner is capable of cleaning it basically modifies its its database file i forgot what it's called to allow it to find these things and clean it so it allows you to get a lot more geekier with it so here's your registry cleaner i don't i'm not knocking piriform um i've i use it all the time but for most people i don't recommend that you clean your registry it's very rare that you're going to fix any problems or speed up your computer it's really left to somebody who knows what they're doing so however i've run it hundreds of times on numerous computers and never once had a problem but you can make a backup in case you have a problem so I've trusted over the years I don't if you don't know what you're doing back it up and as you can see we're done must have ran I say tools as you can see you can jump to an uninstall I prefer to use a uninstall tool that's a complete uninstaller but if you want to remove the Windows Store different stuff like that you can let's see here start up as you can see you can everything that you have is listed on here so just take a look through it you can in this case I'm not sure if I wanted to remove it so what you can actually do is it's already disabled so it's not lit up I can enable it or I can disable it if you don't know what it is leave it alone if you can also Google for it and it's a nice way to speed up the startup time of your computer and of course everything that runs when you start up actually will use up memory and slow your computer down not only during boot but afterwards your browser plugins you can manage all of these once again you can disable enable or delete depending on what you want to do you have Firefox Google Chrome whatever browser you have installed should show up here your disk analyzer so if you want to find out where wasted space is duplicate file finders you're familiar with that so that's a nice little utility some people are out downloading standalone dupes this is built right in so that's sweet your system restore so you have your checkpoints if you have any sort of problem or if you want to manage them you can remove them so let's take a look I don't really use them so say January 1st we'll remove and it's gone drive wiper as we mentioned before you can wipe the free space which is nice for security if you want to make sure that something on your drive is not recoverable you can actually just simply pick the drive you want obviously it's gonna warn you not to do your main drive you can do the free space entire drive don't play with that simple overwrite advanced overwrite and for the guy who says I'm like god I'm paranoid as could be 35 passes that should cover it so basically if you don't know every time you overwrite if there's a file on your drive you delete it it can be recovered if you've ever recovered a drive you accidentally deleted you're familiar with that anytime you overwrite that sector 
and keep overwriting it, the less likely it's going to be able to be recovered because something was written on top of it. So that's why some people like to go nuts with 35. Three to seven should pretty much do it. Three should cover it. That's uh, up to you if you want to play with it. Now, the options. This is neat too. We're going to go way over five minutes and I apologize because again, you can just start the program up, run cleaner and you're done, but there's a lot you can do. Run it when it starts, run it on a schedule. As you can see, CCleaner now has a pro version they have for a while. Great way to support the company. And your secure deletion, and that's going to be every time you run it. So every time you click Run Cleaner, you can adjust that. And the wipe, again, I don't play with that too much. If you don't know what you're doing, probably leave this stuff alone here. Automatically check for updates. Uh, on Install, it offered to put it into your uh, context menu, you know, your right click. So if you didn't do it or you did do it and you want to remove it, you can use this. So, And again, cookies, so you can decide which to keep. And that's handy, so when you wipe your cookies out if you have stuff you're logged into like Facebook or you don't have to re-log in you can set this up C cleaner on installation actually offers to do that for you as well so there's your include so this is handy only if as you can see you have include and exclude so this is if you want to narrow down certain folders again note the advanced users so if you want to include or exclude any folders from being scanned by CCleaner you can do that monitoring comes under pro as you can see this will allow you to set a certain number of space if it can save so much space it'll automatically run now that's pretty cool because a lot of these programs what they do is rather than decide how much space is wasted they just set themselves up oh, I'm gonna run it every day and you shouldn't be cleaning your drive every day so basically if you do buy the pro you can come in here and say listen when I got a half a gig which is your default go ahead and run it or prompt me so you have different options you got your browser monitoring as well and again your active monitoring so you can turn that on so you can actively monitor stuff uh, let's see your users if you have users uh, I never use them so it's pretty much again a pro feature but if you have multiple users you can set them up as well and there's a few other advanced settings for example don't do anything over 24 hours uh, and then and same with recycle bin hide the warning message nothing nothing too difficult so and of course your basic about upgrade to the pro version etc and that's about it they offer a few different versions now again it's twenty dollars so for most of you guys you've been using this thing for years I mean throwing a guy a twenty dollar bills is probably well worth it there's your check for updates which you can also find in your options for automatically checking for updates what I don't see is a built-in inside the program update so when it does update you have to download it again and close it and install it it's, it works pretty well I'd love to see it do it right within the program but hey what are you gonna do there you go and that is CCleaner if you haven't used it you want to clean your drive and you're worried about it it doesn't get much safer or conservative than C cleaner be comfortable works well and that about covers it and then some and probably one of the longest videos I've ever done I don't know if I'd want to listen to myself for eight minutes but if you made it this far you might as well click subscribe <laughs> eight and a half minutes come on and we thank you for watching and I hope I see you next time